I wanted to take a moment to show you how to take notes using something called Noodle Tool. So I'm on my encounter page of our exploration site. Uh, here's the video about how to use NetTracker, which is that resource where you can find websites. Um, but we've talked about how those websites, you get fewer back, and they tend to be more reliable um, and more relevant. Uh, so NetTracker is doing some work for you when you use that. Um, and there's the link to your search engine. When you found things in there, how do you take some notes on them? The thing we're going to have you use is a bibliography tool um, called Noodle Tools. So I click on Noodle Tools, and I go to sign in, and your personal ID and password is actually uh, exactly what you use for everything else. It is your student username and password. So I log in. The first time you log in, you will need to maybe put in a few uh, pieces of information. You can put in the year you're going to graduate. You can put in your initials. And you, I don't know that you have to put in the last four digits of your phone number. I guess it's going to ask you to do that. You can just put in, um, you can put in the phone number for the school. So we'll just put in here 5310, which is the last four digits of the school's phone number. And now it will let me into my dashboard, my main landing page for my all of my notes on research. And you're going to create a new project. So you'll go to create new project over here on the right. And I would name this encounters or something that's going to be descriptive enough that you'll know uh, what it's about. You want to make MLA, which is a kind of note that we'll be using. And then you just use the starter level. So very beginning note-taking uh, citations here. Create project. And now I'm on my dashboard. You can put in here what your questions are right now. Uh, do you have a thesis statement you're working on? And down here you can start to make notes. When I'm ready to make my first citation or my, uh, with my first source, you can pull down this menu, and most of you will be using websites from NetTracker. You might be using some of these other resources. You might use a book, a magazine, maybe you have an encyclopedia that you're using. If you're using NetTracker, though, you'll be using a website. And this actually has some videos about what it looks like, how to cite it. This gives you guidance through the whole process. So I would encourage you to leave some of these uh, guides on as you go through, but I can just continue. And it's taking it a moment here. Okay, so now I'm ready to make my first citation. Um, for my bibliography of sources. And I'll go back to NetTracker. And here is one of the sites that I was going to use, and it's about Cortez. And it looks like the name of this site, if I go here and open this in a new tab, I can figure out what the name of the website is. And it looks like it's Timeline Index is the name of the site. So I go back here and put Timeline Index. I want the name of the site. Um, it's going to ask me when I looked at the site, and that puts the data in automatically for me. And then I want to put in the URL or the web address. And when I'm using um, when I'm using NetTracker, if I click on this, so I'm making a site. I'm citing this source for my bibliography. If you click on Copy for Citation, it actually copies the web address, the URL, onto my clipboard. I go back to Noodle Tools and paste it in. Remember, if you're on the Mac, it's Command-V or Control-V if you're on a PC. And that's probably enough for my notes now because I have the name of the site and I have the URL and I had when I last looked at it. And I can just do Submit. And now I have my first resource listed that I can provide when I turn in what I've written. 